Thank you. All right. That's right. It says the judgment of the Lord is altogether right and, and just. Okay. This is Psalms 119 and 160. It says, Thy word is true from the beginning, and every one of thy righteous judgments endure forever. Okay. All right. So we, you know, these are just a few uh, precepts that help clarify that the law is perfect. There's no flaws in it. Okay. And what the, the law, statutes, and commandments and, and the judgment on um, adultery. Okay. There's nothing, there's nothing that anybody can, can, can come against. Okay. What, what is being brought out is plain. It's to the point. Okay. This is Psalms 147. Psalms 147 and 19. He showeth his word unto Jacob, his statutes and his judgments unto Israel. Okay. He have not dealt so with any nation. And as for the, the, his judgments, they have not known them. Praise ye the Lord. Okay. So the Bible, all right, and the law, statutes, and commandments was given to the children of Israel. The children of Israel are you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Descent on your father's side, okay? It wasn't given to these other nations, okay? Because these other nations, specifically the so called white man, he doesn't abide by, uh, he doesn't enforce uh, what, the, what the scriptures say about marriage or adultery, okay? Or any of the judgments, okay? So we know that the Lord ain't dealing with these, 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 uh, these Caucasians, man, okay? They're not the children of God. Okay, they the wicked. All right. Psalm seventy-eight and five. It says, "For he established a testimony in Jacob, and appointed a law in Israel, which he commanded our fathers that they should make them known to their children. Okay, that the generation to come might know them, even the children which shall be born." who shall arise and declare them to their children, that they might set their hope in the Most High and not forget the works of the Most High, but keep His commandments. Okay? Alright? So now that we're coming back to this, that's what we're supposed to do. Okay? That's part of rehearsing the righteous acts. Not only learning about them, teaching them, but also applying it. Okay? Deuteronomy chapter 6, verse 4, it says, Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is one Lord, and thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thine heart, and with all thy soul, and with all thy might. And these words which I command thee this day shall be in thine heart. And thou shalt teach them diligently unto thy children, and shalt talk of them when thou sittest in thine house, and when thou walkest by the way, and when thou liest down, and when thou risest up. And thou shalt bind them for a sign upon thine hand, and they shall be as frontlets between thine eyes. And thou shalt write them upon the posts of the of thy house and on thy gates. So you're supposed to constantly meditate and 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 meditate on the scriptures, man. What what the scriptures say about adultery? Okay, all right, because that's what that's the topic we're focusing on. All right. And it's a purpose for us to keep these law, statutes, and commandments, okay, as the scriptures say. This is Deuteronomy chapter 4, verse 5. Behold, I have taught you statutes and judgments, even as the Lord my power commanded me, that ye should do so in the land whither ye go to possess it. Keep therefore and do them, for this is your wisdom and your understanding in the sight of the nations, which shall hear all these statutes and say, Surely this great nation is a wise and understanding people okay all right so when people when they ask you oh because I, I get I encounter this all the time at my job okay all right um you have a, a, a Jake come up one of the Latin tribes be like oh yeah you see old girl right there and then I have to tell them you know oh 
Oh, buddy done dealt with her. That's his woman. Now, she said they ain't together. They done broke up or whatever. But I still know that dude dealt with her. So I ain't going to entertain any of those thoughts or actions towards that woman. So when he say, oh, look at her, I'd be like, okay, you know, but, you know, they done, they done dealt. So she's off limits, you know. You know, and then they ask me, they like, oh, you know, you got a woman? I say, no, I don't have a woman. But if I had a woman, I wouldn't want no other dude, you know, pressing up on her. Or if I dealt with this girl, you know, have some dude like roll up and, you know, start dealing with her and stuff. That's kind of off. So why would I do that to someone else? You know. You know, some people be like, wow, you know. But that's all scriptural. I don't have to say, oh, yeah, that's in the Bible. Because not everybody going to receive that. But if you say it in a way that even if somebody who doesn't respect the Bible, like Edomites, they can at least respect that statement and say, you know what? Yeah, I can understand that. And that's why the Lord gave us the law, statutes, and commandments. Okay? All right? Deuteronomy 4 and 6, Keep therefore and do them, for this is your wisdom and your understanding in the sight of the nations, which shall hear all these statutes and say, Surely this great nation is a wise and understanding people. For what nation is there so great who have the most high so nigh unto them, as the Lord our power is in all things that we call upon him for, and what nation is there so great that have statutes and judgments so righteous as all this law which I set before you this day? Only take heed to thyself and keep thy soul diligently, lest thou forget the things which thine eyes have seen, and lest they depart from thine heart all the days of thy life. But teach them thy sons and thy sons' sons. Okay? So we have an obligation to teach you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans about the, the, the scriptures because you're the Israelites, okay? And about this topic about adultery, okay? Because it's, 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 it's rampant amongst our people, okay? All right? This is Romans 7 and 1. It says, Know ye not, brethren, for I speak to them that know the law, how that the law have dominion over a man, as long as he liveth, okay. So as long as if you're a Negro, Latino, Native American descent, you're supposed to be uh, striving to apply these things, man, to the best of your ability, okay. All right, because you're you're Israelite, and the Lord gonna judge you according to this, like it or not. So you have no excuse because the Lord He gave the word to you. He ain't dealing with everybody. Okay, and that's obvious. It's Deuteronomy chapter 5, verse 1. It says, And Moses called all Israel and said unto them, Hear, O Israel, the statutes and judgments which I speak in your ears this day. Salah.